getting my BA degree in biological science. So here I am to teach you biology in an easy way. So in the chapter chapter we have the plant anatomy and plant physiology. So first we have the plant anatomy in the chapter. Plant anatomy is the study of internal structure of the plant. So I will talk about the topic there on the tissue system. So before going into the topic, you should know the basic level of organization in organism. So cell. Cell is the basic and functional unit of life. Cell put together will form tissues. Tissues combines to form organs. Organ combines to form organ system and organs combine to form in an organism. The organism can be either plant or animals. So, now we have a tissue or a definition part of. Tissue is a group of cell with similar or dissimilar structure and origin but will perform the same function. So, a tissue is a group of cell. It might be different. Different means size is different, shape is different, other are different. But and the cells alignment and the array function are performed by them. So all that tissue. So what is tissue system? Tissue system is a group of different tissue put together performing the same function. That's what is tissue system. So tissue system are the mono classified by it. Based upon the structure and location. So what are the three types? First one is the epidermal system or dermal system. The second one is the ground or fundamental system and the third one is the vascular system. So epidermal system epidermal circle, stomata, epidermal appendages. So epidermal system is the outer, outer covering of the leaf is the epidermal system. So ground tissue or fundamental, fundamental is basic. Epidermal upper vascular system mm -hmm. tissues on the ground tissue level. So the third one is vascular system. Vascular system level the number one the uh, complex permanent tissues. Are so other than xylem and phloem. So xylem and phloem will be helping for the transportation of food material as well as the water. So next one we will tell you in detail. So if I am epidermal and dermal system partner. So epidermal system is the first one, the epidermis. Epidermis is the outer covering. Every our body is the skin the outer covering. Almari, plants are the you have epidermis. Okay, so epidermis is the outer covering. So other cells are the it's closely packed parenchyma cells. Followed by other on the vaccine layer. For the uh, loss, uh, loss of water on the protect panathi, you have a vaccine layer which is called as cuticle. So that is all about epidermis. The second one is stomata. So you might know that stomata is the uh, opening present on the leaf surface. And the exchange of gases plus transpiration. So stomata is the leaf for the lower epidermis. So the third one is the epidermal appendages. Epidermal appendages are nothing but the elongation of the epidermal cells. So now, so now, my epidermal cells are what we call the parenchyma cells. So, the parenchyma cells are the elongate eye or appendage, appendage or outgrowth. My develop are the epidermal appendages. So, uh, where do you find epidermal appendages? You find them in root hairs and trichome. Trichome, as uh, root has root hairs, you can find. Uh, Hairs in the stem of the tree. So trichomes are the hairs present on the stem. So now we will see the function of epidermal system. So as I said, epidermis will do the function of protection from the outer uh, surrounding. Okay. So protection of the plant is done by epidermis. Then absorption of water and minerals, which is done by the Epidermal appendages. You know that root is for the absorption of water and minerals. So, absorption of water and minerals is done by epidermal appendages. 
The third one is transpiration and exchange of gases, which will be performed by the stomata. So this is all about the epidermal system with its function. The second type of tissue system is ground or fundamental tissue system. So this is a majority of the tissue system found in the plant. The cells present in the fundamental tissue system are the parenchyma cells, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma. So where, where do you find ground tissues in the plants? So in the hypodermis, endodermis, cortex, pit and medullary vein. So these are the regions where you find the ground tissues. If we have ground tissue system, or functions are So functions of ground tissue. First one is photosynthesis. Then food storage. Provides strength and support to the plant. So cortex one the number one the food storage helper. Hypodermis one the it will help for the Providing strength and support to the plants. So, number uh, a ground tissue or acres on a mari consists of parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma cells. So, uh, parenchyma cells will also help in the synthesis of food. So, these are the major functions of ground tissue system. Next, number one, the vascular tissue system, papilla. So, vascular tissue system. Vascular tissue system consists of xylem and phloem. So vascular tissue system is classified based upon the position of xylem and phloem. So on the, the vascular tissue system on the xylem and phloem on the bundles are arranged. So on the bundle pair the vascular bundles. So first one is the radial bundle. Radial bundle consists of xylem and phloem on different radii. If you circle it, different different radii on this, uh, xylem and phloem on the alternate arrange it. You can diagram the part. So, green on the phloem, red on the xylem. So, in the xylem, na, in the phloem. Then, in the xylem, na, in the phloem. So, they are arranged in the alternate fashion. So, this is what is radial bundle. Example on the roots. It can be both dicot and monocotyl. The second one is conjoint. Bundles. Conjoint bundles are the xylem and phloem on the same radii. Okay. Then we conjoint one the number end up with you. That is collateral and bicollateral. So bicollateral on the xylem will be seen in the inner side or the center side. Whereas phloem will be seen on the outside or the periphery side. So collateral on the based upon the presence of cambium, it is open and closed. So open now there will be presence of cambium. So cambium I have shown in blue color. So you can usually see in dicot stems. So closed now there will be absence of cambium. Okay you will see in monocots. Next one the number bicollateral uh, bi conjoint bundles. Bicollateral conjoint bundles number one Xylem will be sandwiched between phloem and cambium. So, if you have a sandwich or a burger, so the burger will be bundled with the phloem, that is the outer phloem and the inner 
in the fluid. And the narula the patty one will be the xylem. And the two cheese slices will be the inner cable and the outer cable. So that is what is by collateral conjoint bundle. So our example one the Kurkur Bitesi family. Another example. The third one is concentric bundles. Concentric bundles na it, it will be like either xylem will surround phloem or phloem will surround the xylem. So it is divided into two. One is ambicribal and other one is ambivasal. So ambicribal and another xylem will be surrounded by phloem. Okay. And ambivasal and another the phloem on the center of the xylem on the surrounded by phloem. That's what is concentric bundles. So the next thing you should know in vascular system is about protoxylum and metaxylum. Protoxylum, protoxylum is the primary xylem. Primary xylem now the first formed xylem cells are called primary xylem. Next one is metaxylem. Metaxylem are nothing but the secondary xylem. Secondary xylem which will be formed from the already existing primary xylem. And this will give rise to the stem and root. So, based upon the protoxylum and metaxylum arrangements, it is classified into two. That is exarch and endarch xylem. So, the term X. X means what? Outside. So, in this, protoxylum will be placed in the periphery, whereby the metaxylum will be seen in the center. So example will be the roots. The second one is the endarch. Endarch means, end means inside. So the protoxylum will be seen in the center whereas the metaxylum will be seen in the periphery. Example would be stem. So this is all about the vascular system in plants. So the function of vascular system you all know that Xylem and phloem, what they do? They usually transport water and minerals to the plant. So this is what is vascular system in plants. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts and suggestions, please do post in the comment box. Like and share the video. If you have not subscribed the channel, please do subscribe the channel. Thank you.